When brakes slam down, tires squeal, and sheet metal crunches, the safety devices in our vehicles spring into action. Let's take a look inside to see how airbags work. All modern cars are equipped with safety features, including airbags. At minimum, there will be an airbag in the steering column and in the dashboard. Some vehicles even have side, window, and roof airbags. The airbag unit is made up of two main components. There's an inflator that contains an igniter and chemicals, including sodium azide. Nestled on top of the inflator is the folded airbag. Multiple sensors are connected to the airbag system. Pressure sensors in the seats detect if they're occupied. If no one is sitting in the passenger seat, that airbag won't deploy. Around the car, crash sensors detect sudden deceleration and collisions. When a crash sensor activates, it triggers the igniter in the airbag inflation device. The heat starts a chemical reaction. The sodium azide decomposes to form nitrogen gas and sodium metal. Sodium metal is hazardous though, so it's combined with potassium nitrate. This reaction forms metal oxides and more nitrogen gas. All that nitrogen gas fills the airbag at an explosive speed of about 200 miles per hour. As the bag deflates, a final reaction with silicon dioxide consumes the hazardous metal oxides, leaving a harmless product behind. In the entire process, the sensor activating, the chemicals reacting, the bag inflating and deflating, takes about a second. And that's a good thing, because an accident can happen in the blink of an eye.